Hey guys, I've been an infrastructure engineer for most of my career now, working with AWS Cloud and other clouds. And one of my favorite things to do is to clear up infrastructure, to recreate infrastructure. And allow me to demonstrate what usually happens with these deck of cards. You deploy to dev. And once that deployment works, uh, then you deploy to staging, you promote it. And assuming that works, then it's promoted to production. So depending on how mature your setup is, this is hopefully automated if it's, if it's super mature. If it's less mature, maybe there's like, you know, approval gates or something like that. So what happens over time is that like, this is deployment, you know, same deployment, you know, the, this, these changes on the top here are the same. I mean, that's kind of the idea. Of course, the environments are quite different uh, usually. But what happens is that, you know, deployments happen over time, deployments happen over time, and essentially the, the amount of infrastructure in each environment sort of accumulates. And you're assuming that every change is going to happen sort of seamlessly. And what sometimes happens is that maybe a change is actually disruptive. It causes uh, something to be destroyed and recreated and a name is changed or there's some dependency that is somehow broken while you're making that change. And I often find that um, that this, this these infrastructure, these environments that are built up over time, they become a little bit fragile. And the way to combat this, I feel, is to destroy everything, is to recreate the environment from scratch, from scratch. So in my ideal world, the dev, for example, gets uh, nuked every week. And there's actually a great program for doing that called AWS Nuke, gets destroyed every week. So that like Monday morning, the whole, the whole environment has to be sort of recreated to what it was once last. And, and similarly, um, you know, uh, just, to, just to test it all over again on a production-like environment, like perhaps st staging could be uh, absolutely recreated from, from scratch. Or perhaps it could be a rearranged so that like, um, you know, like uh, this is recreated and this, and then this gets uh, promoted as as prod, like essentially you point prod to staging. Staging becomes something that you can tear down again and recreate. So the whole idea here is instead of like updating incrementally, you start from scratch and deploy your your uh, environment anew, and you sort of repoint to the new environment using uh, DNS or something like that. That's the idea I like to get across. You might like say, oh, whoa, 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 my stacks can't just be recreated, Kai. They, there's, there's some complexities. There's, there's, there's some reasons why not to. And a good uh, way of thinking about it then is to perhaps have your, um, each environment, I mean, let's just call it dev. Let's just call it dev. They could have maybe multiple stacks and maybe you could get, you could have some sort of like at least some hybrid pattern where you, you you can nuke some aspect of the thing, but maybe not your data stack and your database stack or something like that. And that and that leads me onto onto data because data, someone wiser than me uh, or someone wiser that told me, is that your your data is only as good as your last restore. And many times and many clients. They do set up backups, um, and then when we have a you know disaster, disaster recovery process and whatnot, but we don't actually do the do the process from scratch. We don't actually go through the whole thing from scratch. And so, if you can imagine that this is like I don't know, this is a compute stack, and this is your database stack, and this could be a, well, what could this be? Could could be S three, another data stack. It would be amazing to see something that I don't see, I haven't seen to this day, really, 
that you you delete your S3 stack. I mean, this would be only in a mature shop, I would say. You delete your, uh, your S3 stack. And if your disaster recovery or if your replication and all that stuff was actually working, then you would be able to recreate that S3 stack from scratch. Of course, I'm ignoring some, you know, uh, non so trivial, uh, non trivial things like the data transfer. That if you had like I don't know, twenty terabytes of data and you wanted to recreate the stack, you would probably incur quite a few charges to do that. But you get my point here. Like recreate the stack, then you are testing your backup. Recreate your compute stack. That that means you're properly testing your infrastructure end-to-end and essentially that's what I want to promote I wanted you to think about destroying infrastructure the name for this I believe in the industry is called immutable infrastructure but I'm not too sure if that properly encapsulates this idea do comment below if you know what I'm getting at or if I'm talking nonsense thanks for getting this far Please like, subscribe.